And you might be surprised that I'm not alone. There are a lot more ladies than you might think that are in a long-term relationship with someone who doesn't ride. And yes, I did wonder, should I still be dating this guy if he's not gonna ride? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to the heated gloves. My fingers are really cold. It's 53 degrees outside. My body is warm, but my fingers are frozen. Ice cubes. Oh yeah, nice and cozy. Uh, in my Instagram and just a picture here on YouTube, I posted a picture of my fiance and I getting hitched in the woods. So it is done. Your doodle is no longer a single ladies. I got a lot of comments asking what he rode. People are excited to see vlogging videos with him. I thought everyone knew, but I guess not. My husband doesn't ride. I mean, it's pretty normal to me since I'm living in it, but I guess all you guys see is these 10, 20 minute videos of me riding once a week and you don't see him. I'll explain. I don't know. As a girl who rides, the kind of atypical, non-traditional stuff isn't very weird to me. Everyone's always really surprised. Why the hell am I married to someone who doesn't even ride? Pretty much the same reason guys are with someone who doesn't ride. You would like it if they rode. You kind of pick them as a person because personally, I don't click with just anybody. Cody is, Cody is the closest person to me and the person that I click the most more than anyone because we have so much in common in the way we think and process the world and the ways that we are different, I really admire him for. I think that's a pretty good combo for someone you wanna, for a relationship. If the, if the ways you are different, you wanna change them, then maybe you'll be happier single. Get a motorcycle, being single isn't so bad at all. So at one point, Cody did ride. So we started out as friends. Well, I say friends, he says that was dating. I mean, he was inviting me to dinner every week. <laughs> yeah, I don't even see my friends that often. Um, but it just, it just, the way we acted, it felt like friends. We both acknowledge an interest in each other, but said like, we don't really know each other, really jaded from getting into relationships really quickly like we did in the past. So let's just be friends and for now. That's kind of where we both were at. What's that noise? Is that a helicopter? Okay, as long as it's not my bike. <laughs> So what I liked about him right away was just how logical and reserved and quiet he was. The software engineer and I, I'm a product designer. So any typical personality traits you can kind of think that comes with computer nerd to artist are fairly accurate between the two of us. Started out as friends and he, um, he started doing jujitsu. I actually invited him. I thought, cause I knew he was interested in it and I thought he would really like my school and I was also kind of interested in him so but still just wanting to keep it distant be friends so he started jujitsu and um not too long after we had met he he took the MSF course and he did and he did start riding uh, a Yamaha R3 excellent bike by the way I highly recommend it but I saw him as like man I would like if I ever did start dating again because at that point I had was really enjoying being single but I thought if I ever did start dating again, that's the kind of guy who I should date, not what I was dating before. Ironically, the uh, the day he bought his bike was the day we went from friends to dating. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Well, it wasn't too long after that that he just decided street riding wasn't for him. By the way, when it comes to people, when it comes to me, I'm not that defensive, but it co when it comes to anyone I care about, if anyone even remotely says anything negative about them, just don't do it. Because I know someone's going to be tempted to say something rude about him not riding. And I mean, that's just completely unacceptable to me. Keep it to yourself. And yes, I did wonder, should I still be dating this guy if he's not going to ride? <laughs> but I decided that I, I still love riding, riding by myself or or riding with girlfriends mostly or other friends is fun too. But, oh, I thought that was a huge dog. That, that was a deer. Thanks for waiting for, thanks for crossing the street before I came by. 
Not so many people out with their dogs today. Oh, look at that bright red tree. Wow, that's a pretty color. So I decided I still love riding, so I'm gonna keep doing it. And I decided I really like him. I click with him more than even I've clicked with my closest girlfriends. And you might be surprised that I'm not alone. There are a lot more ladies than you might think that are in a long-term relationship with someone who doesn't ride. Actually, her two wheels, when she first started riding, she started riding alone. Her husband didn't ride, nobody in her family rode. I don't think she had any friends either. I, I'm pretty sure she did it on her own. Jess, if you're watching, let me know down below if I, if I got that wrong. Eventually he joined her because he, he, supposedly he, because he said that he missed her. He barely ever got to see her anymore because she was always riding. And I have a few girlfriends too that have been in a relationship for years with someone who doesn't ride. And then uh, as the magpie flies, she, you know, she travels around the U.S. on her motorcycle. She goes moto camping and she's usually alone too. And she's been in a relationship with someone for um, seven, eight years now. And uh, they met in college. They're both artists. That's where they connect outside of motorcycles. But um, he actually never, I'm pretty sure she said that he actually never rode and he's not interested in it either. She said though he has ridden on the back with her, which I think is pretty cool. Cody will not ride on the back with me. <laughs> I'm sure if I tried harder he might, but oh well. When um, Amanda was traveling around the US this summer, she stopped by my place, spent the night over and, and we talked about that. This is what she told me. So I am not the only girl who loves motorcycles and loves a guy who doesn't love motorcycles. It's true. Well, one year into art school, I met John for the first time. And like, I didn't think about dating him or anything like that. He was just like a nice dude who likes griffins. Who likes what? Griffins. What's that? Um, it's like a fantasy creature. It's like half lion, half Oh, half yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, okay, that's not what I thought. That is what you meant. I was like, surely she doesn't mean the fantasy creature. Oh, right? yes. No, fantasy creature. <laughs> And Hello. I was friends with this like very outgoing guy and he's like, we should date Jonathan. And I was like, date Jonathan. Well, because like he, he just thought that like Jonathan liked me mm. and that like we would work well together. And obviously he was right. <gasps> you would be a good wingman. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, that was nice of him. Future Doodle is interrupting past Doodle to let you know to get your 2021 all women's calendar. Basically, I wanted a calendar of women riders that I look up to and to make one for you boys that your wife won't get mad at you for having. A lot of really cool women who ride that I admire in this calendar. Get it down below before I close it out for the year. In that video where I told you all that I quit my job for YouTube, they countered though, so I'm working part time. The comment section was just a, a wild west. It was a whole lot of congrats, follow your dreams, and some, well, you're getting married, so I guess you're gonna mooch off him. Um, no, that is not my personality at all. I get so much reward from working hard. It's addicting to me. Working towards financial independence through investing and now this online business and the people close to me that I know that quit their jobs and just stayed at home because their significant other could cover both of their expenses. Those people had a lot of anxiety and depression and self-esteem issues. I definitely don't think everyone is that way, but I definitely am. I need to be working hard and accomplishing goals, otherwise I'm miserable. Now Cody does want to ride dirt and we've been trying to schedule that all year. At the beginning of the year they were all shut down when quarantine hit and uh and i guess there was just so much pent up waiting that when they finally opened up in the fall and i looked to book some they were all full and we actually did ride dirt earlier this year together but it wasn't a class we just rented and went thinking it'd be just fine um it was i was so frustrated because i'm the one who's been riding not cody but i'm the one who fell and ate mud every few seconds and Cody did just fine. I was so jealous. You don't even ride anymore. This is not fair. <laughs> so yeah, I really want to take a class for dirt, not just 
wing it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.